this video provides resources to teachers of English and the theme is food, specifically bread and culture. And it all started with a unit in our Pathways reading book. Right here it says the world on a plate and you can see right here this woman in China is holding the pork buns. If you haven't tried pork uh, buns yet. You can get these at Trader Joe's and they're not expensive and pop them in the microwave for a snack. In class we talked about the Japanese version Nikuman for the meat buns, pork buns, and Anman for the sweet ones with uh, anko or red bean paste inside. I loved both of them when I lived in Japan. Also on the theme of bread, I recently found these sweet cinnamon filled Korean pancakes, which I used to eat on um, the streets of South Korea. You could pick them up and have a nice warm snack in the winter time. So I recommend if you'd like to try some or bring them to class, um, Chinese pork buns and sweet cinnamon filled pancakes. I supplemented our textbook unit on food with this Nusella article, Making Bread is One Way to Celebrate the Day of the Dead. It comes in different levels and it also has a quiz. For students of English, I recommend this free tutorial by James on English expressions with bread. It even comes with a quiz and I tried it. Here are some of the English expressions with bread that James explains in his free tutorial. One, break bread. Two, bread winner. Three, the greatest thing since sliced bread. And four, bread and butter. Finally, I would like to introduce a poem and a children's book about bread. The first one is a poem in Lyrics of a Lowly Life by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. I found When the Corn Pone is Hot, a dialect poem in African American vernacular English that I modernized so my students could understand it better and I did a recitation of it. So I am going to show you part of that and then introduce Fry Bread, a Native American family story. There is times in life when nature seems to slip a cog and go, just a rattling down creation like an ocean's overflow. When the world just starts a spinning like a pick a ninny's top, and your cup of joy is brimming till it seems about to slop. And you feel just like a racer who is training for the trot when your mother says the blessing and the corn pone is hot. As an avid collector of children's books, I'd like to introduce one of them today, and that's Fry Bread, a Native American family story written by Kevin Noble Maylard and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal, a Caldecott Honor winner. And I love the way that the words and the illustrations complement each other in beautiful books like this one. And this is a sample of fry bread. Fry bread is time. On weekdays and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Fry bread is art, sculpture, landscape, portrait, our daily craft shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. Fry bread is history. The long walk, the stolen land, strangers, 
In our own world, with unknown food, we made new recipes from what we had. Fry bread is nation. Apache, Ojibwe, Navajo, Shoshone, hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Fry bread is us. We are still here, elder and young, friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. And at the end, there's the author's recipe. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found something useful on the theme of bread and culture.